Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Ritz. Today is a very exciting day. I get to walk you in and around the all new 2023 Newmar SX 4595. So for those of you who do not know, 2023 is a life cycle change year for the Newmar Essex. So we've got a redesigned front cap, redesigned rear cap, a whole mess of new standard features that I'll be doing my best to hit off all of them today. If I miss a couple, I'm sorry, but at the end of this video, I will post my phone number and email address, and you can always reach out to me at any time with questions. So first on the 2023 Newmar Essex, the exterior paint job is going to be the Wells Exterior Graphics. Now that is full body paint, no stickers, no decals, no graphics. This is an awesome paint job. There's some really cool shadowing in here that hopefully we'll be able to get close enough to see. But before we get there, let's talk about the standard awning package on the 2023 Newmar Essex. So up top, we've got the two Gerard Nova awnings. Notice those are cap to cap, full length. Now there's two awnings here. They are controlled individually. You have three ways to control them. There's a remote inside, an actual remote that you can take anywhere with you. And then there's the, ma or the main controls down below in the storage compartment. I'll show you all those as we go along here. Now in each one of these awnings, we do have an LED light strip, just for a little bit of light if you have your awnings out at night. Now also part of that Gerard awning package, we've got the over the door awning with another LED light strip so that you have a lit entryway. And then there's a total of three Gerard frameless window awnings. Now this is new for 2023. Usually they have a frame on these awnings, but also new for 2023, we have dual pane tinted bonded windows. Just gives you a lot nicer, cleaner look. Looks more like the high-end Prevost than it does your standard Class A. So down below here, we've got one of our fuel fills. We do have dual fuel fill on this 2023 Newmar Essex, so dual side fuel fill. 150 gallons of diesel fuel. Also new for 2023, we've seen it on the Newmar King Air since 2019, but new on the Essex, we have a handleless baggage door. So instead of having a handle to pull, push the button, it pops the door. Oh, I accidentally closed it. Try this again. Look at that. So this is a new redesigned baggage door built very similar to what they do in the Newmar King Air. And we'll get back to the door in just a second. But in the first storage bay here, we've got the Dometic CFX on a slide tray. Now I've got my slide outs in, but this is a big, long extending tray so that if this slide out was out, you could still open up both your doors and access your refrigerator or freezer. This is a dual zone. So we can have one side freezer, one side refrigerator. You get to set the temperature to whatever you want it to be. You set it right here on the side. There's also an app on your phone if you choose to do it that way. Now, this started in 2022, but we're going to continue it on. Shelving up above that Dometic CFX. The reason we're doing that is just to optimize the storage. Now that is standard. This entire bay is standard on the 2023s. So one really cool thing about not having uh, baggage door handles and having these push buttons is they are soft closing. So when I open it, the hinge actually extends out. And then when I close it, it grabs a hold of it and sucks it back in there. So there's no more slamming our baggage doors to get them to close. Open this one back up. Right here, we've got one of our two power pass-through trays. So power extend, power retract, they're gonna come, come out 60% either direction. I'm not gonna make you sit there while I extend it all the way out and put it all the way back in. Another shelf up top here. And then just watch how softly I can close this door. I mean, one finger, and away it goes. Up in the overhead, or up in the sidewall, standard on the 4595 floor plan, we've got the 43-inch Samsung HD TV that is going to be a smart TV capable of being connected to Wi-Fi and using your streaming services. Down below that, we've got a Bose soundbar, just for a little bit better sound quality. Now, in this compartment, we also have two open 110-volt outlets. As, two, as well as two 12 volt USBs, so that if we need to charge our phone or something, plug in our tablet while we're out here, we can absolutely do that. Now down below that, we have a selector switch. That's gonna be the audio source for this Bose soundbar. 
So we can either play it off of the dash radio or off of this TV, or as a third option, you can connect your phone to it via Bluetooth and play it that way. Continuing with underneath storage, the bigger of our two bays, our two passenger trays, again, power extend, power attract. Now in this one, we're gonna see a couple extra tiles just in case you were to ever drop something on one, crack one. Um, it's pretty rare that they crack um, naturally, but sometimes you do drop you know, a pan or something on them and you chip one, wanna get it replaced. Newmar just throws a couple in there for that instance. And then we have reached our only manual tray. So lift the handle, pull it out. This is not a full pass-through, it's about halfway through there. Great storage compartment. Now, also in this compartment, we have our central vacuum system. So that is an inner vac. This is uh, at this box. Um, we can plug in a hose, vacuum out our car. We can also do change our bags, our filters, all that right here. Now, up on this sidewall, we've got three white controllers here. These are going to be for the overhead awnings. So we have the control inside, we have the control, which is just a remote, and then we can control them here. Next storage bay, just your pegboard, kind of a utility bay in my mind. You know, keep a couple extra quarts of oil, maybe an extra belt, your tools, um, detail sprays for the exterior, whatever you need, just a nice place to um, store it. Now back behind that is your 105 gallon fresh water tank. Now all of our bays are going to be heated on this coach, all of our water bays. Since we're standing right here, we'll talk about this. New for 2023, we have standard blind spot monitoring. So there is a total of six sensors just like this all the way around the coach. And all it's gonna do is illuminate a light on your mirror if um, if there's someone in that blind spot where you wouldn't be able to see them in the mirror. Now, in conjunction with that safety feature, this coach also has 360 degree cameras. So we've got a camera up top here, and then another one up here in the mirror. So we have blind spot monitoring, a blind spot camera that illuminates the whole side of this coach, and then a camera up there that you can manually select if you wanna see just a straight out side view. I'll show you all the camera views when we get into the cab area of the coach, but I just wanted to point it out on the outside as well. Moving back, right here is going to be our 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank, 15 gallons of def. Now also in this bay, we've got six little valves. Basically those are emergency situation valves. If you were at a campground and trying to leave and your airbags would not inflate for some reason or another, you can inflate them manually using those valves in this bay. Next, last bay on the passenger side. All we've got going on here is our two chassis battery disconnects, two 12 volt chassis batteries to start the engine, the air dryer and the fuel water separator, nice and easier to make, or to, nice and easy to access if you are the kind of person to do your own maintenance. Coming around the back, quite a bit going on here. So first we got a new rear design, a new redesigned rear cap. I'm gonna close this for a second just so you can get a good look at it. One change that was made for 2023 is we have a higher up center brake light. That way if you're towing a vehicle behind you, someone behind you can still see your brake light up top there over the top of that tow vehicle. Now, as part of that, 360 camera system, we have a backup camera. What's cool about that camera is we can actually adjust the angle that we're looking at. So if we're backing up to a trailer or a tow vehicle or something, we can look directly down at the hitch. If we're backing into a spot, we can look a longer distance out just to help us uh, back up safely. Back to the fun part. The 2023 Newmar Essex is still built on the Spartan K3 chassis. It is powered by a Cummins ISX 15 liter which produces 605 horsepower, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. On the front side of that transmission, you've got the Allison 4000 MH six-speed automatic transmission. With the Cummins ISX, you do get a three-stage engine brake. So you get a high, medium, and low option, just depending on what you're doing and what you need. So down below, we've got a two and a half inch receiver with a 20,000 pound towing capacity. 
Now we're gonna talk more about that in a second, but over to the right of it, we've got the connector for our Voyager stacker trailer camera system. So if you have a camera system on the trailer you're towing, we can actually hook into it and display it on the dash. Seven pin connector for your trailer brakes and trailer lights. And then the airline in case you were using an Air Force One, which is the most common tow system for your tow vehicle. So going back to that towing capacity, new for 2023, we've got the heavy haul mode. Really, really cool system. Basically what it's gonna do is redistribute weight from the back of the coach to the front of the coach when it's turned on. To, uh, so you get a smoother, stabler, safer ride. So all it's gonna do is take weight off of that tag axle and redistribute it back into the drive and steer axle just for stability and comfort and safety. All right, moving forward here. We've got the other side of our death fill. So 15 gallon DEF tank can be filled from both sides. If you're the kind of person who pulls into a truck stop fuel island, the death's always gonna be on your left side. So naturally we have to have a place to fill it on the left side. Forward of that, just a little bit of hose storage for that gray and black tank hose. Another one of our blind spot monitoring systems. And then the water bay on the 2023 Essex 4595. So let's start over on the left side with the mana block system. Basically that's gonna be your water manifold. What's cool about that is if you have an issue at one of your uh, water outputs, you can actually just cut it off. That way you don't have to, you know, stop a trip or something because of a little water leak. Standard on the 2023 Essex, we've got er, electronic gate valves. So your gray and black tank dump valves are now electronic, push a button, they open, push another button, they close. They still have manual releases on them just in case for some reason that electronic system fails. Now, also standard for 2023, we've got the RV SantaCon system. That is going to be a macerator pump to pump out your gray and black tanks a lot faster and cleaner than your gravity fill. Again, we still have a backup, which is just your standard gravity fill. Over here, hot and cold exterior shower. We've got a whole house water filter, a place to keep paper towels, a gray and black tank flush valve, all of our low point drains for winterizing. And then in the middle, we've got this little touch panel. Now on here, I can look at my fresh gray and black water level. It's gonna be a little hard to see in this light. Water pump on and off. I can turn on my exterior lights. New for 2023, I can also start and stop my generator. And then one of the cooler features I think came out in 2023, we have a side tilt mode. So basically what side tilt is gonna do is use the airbags of the coach to lean it to the left side, to this side, your driver's side, where your drains are. All it's doing is putting, or all it's doing is having gravity help you dump your tanks cleaner, faster, and more efficiently. Next bay, 50 amp power cord on a reel. That's gonna be a 50 foot cord. It is a manual extend, power retract. In front of that, we've got the 30 amp connection for a stacker trailer. Or if you're not pulling a stacker, but you have kids or grandkids going with you that have their own travel trailer or something small, we can actually plug into them and draw power off of your generator to power their coach. Next, we've got the Oasis Chinook dual loop hydronic heating system. So this is gonna be our hot water as well as furnace. It's gonna burn either diesel fuel or run off electricity, just depending on what we have available at that time. Other side of our pass-through bays here. Again, power extend, power attract. There are micro switches built into these power trays. So you don't have to worry about the possibility of punching them through the other side and ruining a bay door. It will automatically stop as soon as it hits its fully retracted position. Just like that. All right. Now, this is probably, in my mind, the most exciting new feature of the 2023 Newmar Essex 4595. They're actually, any Essex can have... Actually, sorry. Let's start over. This is my new favorite standard new feature on the 2023 Newmar Essex. So this is going to be every 2023 Newmar Essex. It's going to come standard with two Lithionics 320 amp hour lithium batteries, as well as two 3000 watt inverters. So 
One, lithium batteries are going to have a better li uh, lifespan. They discharge more clean and they give you a more, I don't even know how to say it, solid power band. So you get the same amount of power across a longer range of the battery. Now this is a modular system, so we can add a third 320 amp hour lithium battery to give yourself 50% more power. But what all this means to you is we can actually run one of our roof air conditionings off of nothing but battery and inverter power. Moving forward, we've got the other fuel fill. So this is our driver's side fuel fill way up here at the front. Again, 150 gallons of diesel fuel. And then in this compartment, we've got all of our chassis electronics. I'm gonna go turn the ignition on really quick so I can open up this generator bay. Bear with me for just a second. All right. So the generator on this 2023 Newmar Essex is going to be a owning quiet diesel 12,500 kilowatt, 12,500 watt generator. Now it is on the HWH electric slide or hydraulic slide tray. So if you are the kind of person who wants to do your own maintenance, it's very easy to slide that out. You don't have to fight it. We've got a remote oil filter. So we don't have to go digging around inside the generator to find that oil filter. Now also behind this rear cap, we've got our windshield washer fluid and air horns and a couple other accessories that we'll teach you more about at the time of delivery. We'll go ahead and close this back up. All right, so that's fully retracted. So standard on the 2023 Newmar Essex, Right here, you're gonna see this box. That's gonna be our mobile eye lane keeping assistance. Basically, if you start drifting over your lines on the road, it's gonna give you a warning inside the cab. Down below, there's just this little cut out here. Hopefully you can see it. That is going to be the standard on guard collision mitigation system. So that is adaptive cruise control, as well as emergency braking. Now, if you're not the kind of person who likes adaptive cruise control, we can turn it off. There is adjustments that can be made. We'll get to them when we get inside. And then just one more thing, new in 2023, we do have the Silver Star Ultra headlights for both your low and high beams. So just brighter headlights. Numar uh, got a lot of complaints about how dim headlights were, so they stepped it up, listened to their customers, and made an uh, made a adjustment for it. Now we can go on in this 2023 Numar Essex. So as we walk in here, you're gonna see I have my slides completely closed. Just so that you can see your maneuverability while you're in transit. So with those slides closed, I can get to my refrigerator, open both sides as well as the freezer. Pantry, no obstruction, and then probably most importantly, into my half bath without too much effort. Walk back this way, we'll get these slides open. Okay, so just a couple things that I missed while I opened these, well, actually, let's talk about this slide first. The off door side on the 4595 is going to be a hydraulic full wall slide. So HWH hydraulic slide out. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna extend all the way out and then drop down, give you a full flush tile floor. So just while slides are going out and I got some downtime, we'll talk about some of the stuff we couldn't see on this coach. As an option, we can get four 100 watt solar panels on the roof. If you're gonna order that lithium battery pack, it's a no brainer to go ahead and throw those four 100 watt solar panels on the roof as well. This coach is equipped with a WineGuard RTT20B, which is a in-motion satellite, as well as a WineGuard SK300, which is a stationary satellite for DISH network. Basically, 
having two satellites gives you the ability to kind of be flexible with how you're gonna watch TV. Now, we didn't talk about it on the outside, but our water capacities on this coach are 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray, and 60 gallons of black or sewage. All right, moving back, last slide out here. So, uh, new interior design for the 2023 Newmar Essex as part of the life cycle change. So, the wood color is the pearl wood color, which is this kind of nice farmhouse white. This is the Hepburn interior decor. That's gonna be our window valances, our sofas, all that stuff is gonna be part of that decor package. Or uh, fabrics, I'm sorry, not our sofas, our fabrics. Okay, so that's fully opened up and just a beautiful coach. Um, lots of space here inside the 4595. Go ahead and put this down. Jody, just go ahead and do a little twirl as we walk through here. There's a lot of exciting features to talk about. We are going to start in the rear bath, the full bath. I'm gonna shut this engine off really quick. All right, so now that you guys have a pretty good view of this rear bath, let's go ahead and start back here. So the 4595 is a new floor plan for 2023. So in the bathroom over here on the back passenger side, we've got a huge hanging closet here, adjustable shelves up and down, set them to whatever height you need them to be. And below that, we've got a bank of three drawers And all of these drawers are going to be quiet closing. Every drawer inside of this coach is going to be quiet closing. Down below, or talk over, move over to the countertop here, we've got these little kind of storages hidden here. Now, what is kind of cool about these is we actually have two 110 volt outlets inside of those. Now, when I looked at this coach, I thought it was a little weird. We had a gap right here. There is a gap there so that you can run cords out of this cabinet using these two 110 volt outlets and have whatever your appliance is on the countertop. We do have a question. We have a question. The question is, what is the MSRP? Okay, so the question is, what is the MSRP? Um, so unfortunately, YouTube does not allow me to tell you what the MSRP is on these coaches. Um, if you really would like to know, let me grab one thing real quick. So this isn't me trying to hide MSRPs or anything. This is YouTube telling me I can't do it. Here you go. My, or my email is brian.moritz at transwest.com. Shoot me an email. As soon as I'm done with the video, I will respond and show you or send you the MSRP, the build sheet. That's gonna show all the standards, all the options, um, all at the same time, okay? All right, going back into our bathroom here. For the vanity, we have dual opening mirrors. So dual medicine cabinets, really nice backlit mirrors, gives a very nice high end feeling. Solid surface countertop down below with glass sinks that are a bit recessed. Three drawers, again, all quiet closing. And then we get two cabinets underneath this. Now on these lower cabinets, we're gonna see a common theme. We've got this antique mirrored glass which really goes well with this decor package. Over on the driver's side of the coach, we've got another closet here. Again, shelves are adjustable up and down. And we've also got the safe tucked back in there. Now behind this toilet, we've got the emergency egress door. So open that up. There is a ladder built into the bottom of it so that you don't have to take the leap of faith you do have a ladder where you can just extend it and then walk down. Just a nice little safety feature. Now, both of the toilets in this coach are gonna be Dometic macerating toilets. 
So they're actually gonna pump whatever's in the toilet into your black tank rather than the gravity drain that we used to see in the older campers. Standard on the 2023 Essex, we've got the Whirlpool stacked washer and dryer. And then last but not least, we've got a huge 40 by 32 shower. Now this is a full tile shower. You'll see this drain is recessed there. Very high end feeling shower. We've got the rain shower head as well as the wand. Bottles for your soap, body wash, conditioner, shampoo, nicely labeled. Assist handle in the shower. And then the fold down shower seat, standard on the 4595. So another thing that these showers come with is called the shower miser system or the aqua view. Basically what it is, is a recirculation valve. It's gonna take the cold water in the lines, recirculate it back into your fresh water tank, and then give you hot water at the lines via that Oasis system that we talked about outside. So we have continuous hot water at all of our fixtures. Coming into the bedroom of the 4595, pretty standard Newmar bedroom layout. We've got a 72 by 80 radius corner king bed. Storage up above. Go ahead and open these. Let's do a real quick shot of them. Two 110 volt outlets and then more storage. Now in each bed base, we do have these little circles. Those little circles are going, are going to be wireless charging for our cell phones. Okay, now with the wireless charging, if you're not someone who uses a phone that can wireless charge, in each bed base, we also have two 110 volt outlets as two, well as two 12 volt USBs just as a backup situation. Opposite of the bed, six drawers coming down just as additional wardrobe. And then cabinetry next to your Samsung 43 inch HD TV. Now this one is going to be adjustable shelves up and down. That, this cabinet over here is gonna control or contain our AV stuff. So that's where we're gonna plug in our satellite receiver if we're gonna use one of the two satellites that is installed on this motorhome. So while we're here, let's talk about Silverleaf for a second. Now this isn't our main Silverleaf panel. This is the auxiliary one for the bedroom. So here we can control all of our power settings. So that's AC power, DC power, which is gonna be our 12 volt batteries, generator on and off, and as well as, or start and stop your generator, as well as set your auto gen start settings. Water levels, climate controls, battery levels, and then floor heat, your short, uh, door locks, all of your controls basically are gonna be right there on that silver leaf screen. So there's one here and there's one up front, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But more importantly, why I wanted to talk about that is because we also have these KIB panels. And these KIB panels are really cool. They integrate with this silver leaf to give you more coach control. So right here, I can control my lighting, shades, fans, uh, look at my water levels again, as well as those window awnings on the exterior of the coach that I showed you, um, those Gerard frameless window awnings. So why I wanted to show you that is up underneath the bed here, we've got another one of those. So if you were laying in bed at night, you wanna shut off all your lights, you wanna start and stop your generator, um, lock your doors, whatever you need to do, we can do all that without ever having to get off the bed, including drop our shades for that you know nice uh, lighting removal. Give me just one second here. All right, so coming into the kitchen area of the 4595, this is a beautiful kitchen. What's really cool is we get dual pantries. So adjustable shelves up and down, just like every other Newmar product, huge pantry, tons of shelving. And then on the opposite side of the fridge, another huge pantry. Now these are going to be rollout drawers. They do lock into, the pl into place back there. 
And then down below that, Numar has decided for 2023, instead of giving you the full length pantries, they're gonna give you a place for cutting boards, uh, cookie sheets, whatever you need. They put it down in the bottom here just to optimize the storage a little bit better for you. Also new for 2023, the Numar Essex is going to come standard with Bosch appliances. So we used to have the Whirlpool 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. Now we have the Bosch 21.6 cubic foot refrigerator. So almost two cubic feet bigger. Still the French door with the refrigerator drawer, or the freezer drawer, I'm sorry. But bringing it back from the old days, we've got water and ice in the door of this Bosch refrigerator. So keeping moving with Bosch appliances, we've got the Bosch convection microwave. And then my favorite part, the Bosch three burner induction cooktop. So we went away from the two burner true induction and now we are at the Bosch three burner induction cooktop. Still with Numar style, we've got the cutting boards built into the bottom of our stove covers. Just one more thing you don't have to worry about. Numar already thought about it for you. In the kitchen, pull out drawers for storage. Another shelf up here, again, adjustable up and down as needed. And then one more. And then specific to the 4595 floor plan, we've got storage up top there, a stemware cabinet. So if you notice up here, just like in the old high-end coaches, we've got a place to store our wine glasses, to hang our wine glasses. Now, this cabinet can be used for about a million different things as well, but with that option, we have the Samsung wine cooler down below. Now this is an option on the 4595. If you do not get the wine cooler, you just get another big cabinet here. But it's a nice countertop up on top here as well. I was showing this coach to a customer yesterday and they said it would be a great place for the coffee maker just because all coaches have issues with coffee makers or a place for coffee makers. We do have two 110 volt outlets up underneath of our wine glass cabinet. Two bowl undermount stainless steel sink. Now, Numar does an awesome job with this by giving you a place here, a padded place on a drawer to store your sink covers while you are in transit or while you're trying to use your sink. And then put these on. So much pressure trying to put on sink covers on a live video. So, ooh. so now we have this big rollout drawer. Come standard with one trash can, obviously space there for two. We've got another rollout drawer here. And then big kind of cutlery, you know, serving dish or serving utensils drawer, and then another one just like it. So Numar did a great job with optimizing the storage in this uh, kitchen, giving you the pull-out drawers where they could. Um, just to make your life a little bit easier. Little soap or sponge holding area and then a true silverware drawer. Now right now it's gonna look a little scary. We've got a lot of remotes, some touch-up paint, all the stuff that you're gonna learn about when you come here and do your delivery orientation walkthrough. Now, down below we do have the dishwasher on a drawer. There we go. Notice how awesome it is that Numar kept the decor of the coach going in the face of that dishwasher. And then we're gonna move over to the other side of the coach. So we have a booth dinette here. Nice and big, plenty of room right now for two, three people. But with this particular dinette, you do get two leafs that are just stored underneath the bed, as well as two folding chairs. So these leaves are gonna be packed for shipping right now, so they're gonna have some covering on them. But basically these measure out to about 10 inches each. So you get basically 20 inches of extension on this table. So just drop it into place, slide it all the way back, 
Same thing with this one. And it'll latch into place. And then back into the bedroom for one of our two folding chairs. So you get two chairs just like this, but there is plenty of room at this table for four or five people, no problem whatsoever. Moving forward, standard on the 2023 Newmar Essex, we've got the 87 inch sofa. Now this is going to be a trifold sofa. So there is a bed that's gonna come out here. Go ahead and play with this KIB. We're gonna talk about one of my favorite features, even though it's a small feature. So we've got automatic shades all the way around capable of being controlled at any one of our KIB panels. So push a button, it's gonna be all my kitchen and, liver, kitchen and living room nightshades. Now, without moving again, go TV lift up. Now directly across from the sofa in a great viewing area, we've got our 50 inch Samsung HD TV on a lift. Now up above, we do have the new Bose Solo 9 soundbar for all of our AV needs. Now, while that's coming up, we've got storage below the sound bar, above the TV, huge cabinet, AV compartment. This is gonna be another place where we're gonna put a satellite receiver. And then another huge cabinet directly to the left of that. So 87 inch sofa over on the driver's side. We do have an option now for an ottoman. It is a storage ottoman. So you flip it up and you have storage inside, but very comfortable kind of setup. sit here, watch TV. Now, opposite of me, we have a 74 inch sofa. So you have two big couches, both of them more than capable of holding three people, as well as good place to sit and conversate at the dinette. Lots of options for seating inside this 2023 Newmar Essex. So, ooh. I was just reminded that there is a mid-bath in this coach. Sorry, I walked past it. I was excited about pantries. All right, so middle of the coach. We've got a half bath set up in the 4595. So another toilet, macerating toilet, more storage, another vanity for people to get ready at with backlit mirror, another single bowl undermount sink, and then I always like to show this because Newmar does a great job at it. We've got a very residential style breaker box in here. So that's gonna be all of our 110 volt appliances. And then our inverters. And then all of our 12, or our 12 volt fuse block right here. That's gonna be all of our 12 volt stuff. Now with that 12 volt fuse block, Newmar does throw in a couple extra fuses just in case and you can never find one when you need one, but Newmar just throws them in there so you don't have to worry about it. Makes life a lot easier. Go ahead and retract these shades. All right, so coming up into the cab area, another thing that was a redesign for 2023 is people were complaining about the space between the passenger seat and the dash. So Newmar actually redesigned it, pushed it back just a couple of inches so that you have a little bit more room to walk through here when you're coming in and out of the coach. Now also on the passenger side, we're gonna have the remote screen so that the passenger in the coach can control your navigation. They can look at the cameras, um, you know, be more involved in the process, helps take some of the workload off of the driver. Over on the passenger side, we also have some switches here. So patio light on and off, passenger side visor. It's just gonna come down. That's gonna be your kind of day shade. Step cover. So that's gonna come out right by my feet here. Come up and go flush so that your feet aren't hanging in a hole. Now this is load bearing, you can stand on it. Step well lighting to help you get in and out of the coach safer. Ceiling light, which is gonna be right above my head, more of a map light kind of setup. And then I don't know if you can see it from that angle, but the passenger actually has their own HVAC controls. So they can control, you know, how much air they're getting if they're too hot, too cold. They get to control all that on their own. Now, dropping down into the driver's side of this coach, 
Go and get it fired up. So notice keyless start. So the fob is just sitting right over here, kind of out of the way. So first things first, up top here, we've got the power toll window, just in case you're ever driving across Kansas, you need to throw some change out, pay your tolls. Directly to my left side, we've got the controls for our HWH hydraulic leveling. Basically all I need to do when I get into a campground, pull in, put it in park, or put it in neutral, pull the parking brake, hit auto level, it's gonna drop my four jacks, level this coach out. Touchpad for that Allison 4000 MH transmission. So drive, neutral, reverse. Mode is your economy versus performance mode. It's always gonna to default to economy, but if you put it into mode two, it's going to be performance, which is going to give you essentially 300 more RPMs before the coach will shift, uh, kind of get you more into that torque range. Over here, tag dump, engine brake on and off. Like I said on the outside, the ISX 15 does have high, medium, and low on the engine brake, wireless charging pad for the driver's phone, parking brake, headlight controls. Now we do have automatic headlights, so you can just put it in auto, it'll come on as it gets dark outside. And new for 2023, we also have automatic high beams, so they'll just turn off and on, you know, as you're passing people, if you're out on a two lane road, that kind of thing. Um, power mirrors, driver and passenger side, traction control override, that power window switch, air horn, so standard, you just get the little city horn like a car, flip air horn on, you get a big truck air horn. Kurt integrated trailer brakes, so that's gonna be the trailer brakes if you're gonna use that seven pin connector on the back. Basically, this is your entire brake controller. We'll give you a good orientation on how to use it when you get in. But basically, this is a button and a rotary knob, and as you push it and play with things, uh, it's gonna do some different stuff, change different settings inside of that, inside of, uh, that brake controller. On the steering wheel, we've got our phone controls. So if we have our phones hooked up to Bluetooth, we can answer or hang up the phone. Windshield wipers on and off, windshield wipers high and low. This is a new switch stack down below here. Really kind of cool. We can control our volume of our radio, the source. We have AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM. Skip or rewind. And then marker light interruption as well as high beams. So if a trucker's passing you or something, you want to let them know that you're clear, you can just flash those lights at them to let them know. Now, one of my favorite, favorite features of the 23 new Mars is they took the comfort drive off of the dash and put it back on the steering wheel. So for those of you who have older new Mars 2019 and newer, you have the control knob right here, right here to control your comfort drive. 2020 and through 2022, you have to scroll through the dash to get to your comfort drive settings. Now, back to kind of like the control knob, we can just control them by this switch on the dash. For those of you who don't know what comfort drive is, basically it's an electronic assist on our steering wheel that adjusts how much torque it takes to turn the steering wheel. It also, when you let it go, takes it back to center. It's also gonna help you in a windy situation by helping you kind of compensate so that you're not fighting and white knuckling the wind all day long. Over here, we've got two really big screens in the middle. The left one's gonna be for radio, the right one's gonna be our dedicated camera screen. House and battery boost. This is that heavy tow, heavy tow mode that we talked about on the outside. Again, what that's gonna do is redistribute some of the weight from the back of the coach of that heavy trailer up across your drive and front axle to give you a smoother, safer ride. Overhead fans, which are located up behind these cabinets, just helps air flow as well as um, helps defrost this windshield when you're out in the colder days. We do have a setting for high, medium, or low on those overhead fans. Docking lights, which are rearward facing lights. You turn those on, it'll help you back into a campground at night. Generator start and stop, entry lock, and then your visors for the cabs. So if I push these, our visors will come down, help kind of keep the sun out of our eyes. Or if it's nighttime, it'll be our full privacy shades. So I think that's pretty much going to wrap up my walkthrough of this 2023 Newmar Essex 4595. Go grab my clipboard here. All right, guys, if you have any questions about this 2023 Newmar Essex, please feel free to give me a call. 
Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375 and my email is brian.moritz at transwest.com. Um, this unit is available as of today. We do take trades. We do have financing available. So give me a call. Let's talk about it. See if we can get you in this coach. Thank you so much and we'll see you next week.